Most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living and return with having. When we have a red sun in the morning, we know it's a sailor's fair warning. That is something that my mother used to teach us. And a red sun at night is a sailor's delight, which means that the weather will be peaceful and not stormy. You see, in the world of old ways and wise tales and certain days, we learn these common sense practices. We learn that chicken noodle soup or some sort of chicken ramen can quickly fix a cold. We also learn that it can help fix your digestive tract if you're feeling old. But what we have to be careful of today are the people who are powerless. People who are powerless have chosen in their life to remain powerless. They might have been children of abuse. They might have been children of bullying. They might have been children who had no peace in their home or no peace in their school. And they never quite made it to adulthood in their abilities because of other children and other people abusing them. I can see that on several type of faces when I go into retail establishments. I can almost sense that about people and it has nothing to do with how they look per se. It's more how they act in a way. You see, a person who is educated and experienced in meeting a lot of people recognizes patterns. And the patterns of the world today are we are abusers in America. Isn't that sad for us? Instead of being a country that is founded on faith, fellowship, and fun, we become a country that is founded on abuse, cheating, stealing, and lying. You see, everyone in America tells a little white lie. It's a social etiquette in a way of, how are you feeling today? Fine. That's the standard thing that anyone who does a TED talk or any other talk usually begins to talk about when we discuss lying. That we really might not be fine, but we are naturally trained and ingrained since childhood to say that. And it's the polite way to handle that because we don't know the stranger who's trying to talk at us. At the same time, though, we are trained that we are powerful and that we can do anything we like in the world, but that is only the supplement to the truth of education and lineage and the legacies we want to leave in the world. So I want you to look at your life today. I want you to really ask yourself, is what I'm doing today to the people around me, intimately in my life, as well as strangers, something that is going to leave me a positive legacy in the world? Or could it possibly blow up on me? When I say that, what I mean is that there are people who love to play in the shadows. And they play in the shadows by going into their work job early. But what they do is they do mischief in the community before they get to the job. There's also a player who's always out gossiping. And the player that's always out gossiping about information, whether it is lawfully true in your concept of the world, or whether it is a total lie and an abuse, how would you know? But if you're taking action upon someone's life, expecting a reaction that you can control, you're out of your mind. Because when you took an action on someone's life without actually following the good book's rules, you screwed up your own life. There were many months that I was trying to repair a relationship with a good colleague and friend who literally came into my life like a whirlwind, turned it upside down, practically wrecked my marriage in her behavior and in mine, and openly I'm not saying anything out of turn at this time because I am someone who has a late wife and a late son. But what I can tell you is that where affairs begin is in the heart, the mind, and the soul. And the interest that brought it out was not anything other than a prayer that had been prayed. The Lord, if this is no longer right for me today, then allow the right person to come into my life today or soon, so that I will know your bidding and I will do your calling and I will be everything you expect me to be. But when you start to play in the shadows and when you start to tell someone you cannot be that, I will not allow you to do that, you may not wear that, and we just look at you and go, what the fuck are you doing? Who died and left you king? or queen, or are you just creating drama in your life so that you have something to fix and you don't have to fix your own life? Fixing your own life is rarely about partnering with someone else in life. Fixing your own life is rarely about teaming up with your siblings to abuse one of your other family members. 
and teaming up with others to attack a life is the most abusive thing you can do before Christ. Because Christ didn't die on the cross for you to keep sinning on people and pretending you're God.